Describing Puerto Rico is, uh, is a tough one. We got a lot of everything. Yes, we're part of the states, but we have our own identity, you know. We say party and we'll stop doing anything. <laughs> So obviously this branch, the hurricane tore down. I guess you gotta do a remedy cut here so it seals off and tries to branch out again. You gonna look for the best position here. You gotta be, same as climbing, three steps ahead of the game. If not, you get crossed in the crux. 10 years ago, I didn't have any idea that you could climb on the island. When we started, it's ridiculous, but maybe 20, 25 active climbers. Now we're still a very small community, you know, maybe we get to 100. We don't have big walls, but you got deep water soloing, we got bouldering, we got sport climbing. I think we are a good destination, you know, just to enjoy, especially people that want to get away from the cold. <laughs> I'm the founder of Climbing Puerto Rico and I was working as a full-time guide, and that's how we survived. Until Maria. Imagine a nuclear bomb of water and wind. As soon as this happened, I looked out the, outside, there was a tree right in the middle of the road, and I'm like, let's go cut up the tree. We had to open way so things could get out to where they needed to be. I realized how climbing helped in many ways that first day. We went outside, and this guy was bringing his Jeep, and I would set up a mechanical advantage, hauling the huge log from the, the road. And so we set out to help, like, who can I help tomorrow? You know, who needs help? Where, where can we go? Mira, todavía está el sign de sobre esa carretera para los aviones. Cuando yo vi esto fue que yo dije, OK, esto es serio. Every town you drive to was destruction. The road was totally erased, like a intertwined jungle of fallen debris. We just went for it, again organically. Just do what you feel. Cut the first log, and okay, I see another log. Wah, 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 start cutting. Claro, tú puedes creer que esto sobrevivió. Qué loco, verdad? Así, así de lindo como está sobrevivió. O sea, la Virgen María sobrevivió a María. <laughs> Ocean Park is like a sort of high end area. Llegó, ay, qué bueno. The water was, say, like half high here. So you had feces, you had dead fish, gasoline from all the floating cars. So we ended up helping a girl get her stuff out of here. Definitely did not want to get in that water. So we actually climbed to the trees and to the window frames, and then we used the kayak to get her stuff out. People would like literally hang here, you know, stuff the kayak and then shoot it over to the dry road. <laughs> This was a nice problem, though. V3, V3, V4, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Around that. B, as in bouldering, B3. <laughs> we didn't have like a super plan. It was like, you need help, we'll go. <laughs> and there we find out about another guy that needs help. Then you realize that's a big problem, so you revisit that area. What about Orlando? We're visiting Orlando. He's a, a farmer, local farmer here. Uh, we help with uh, some tree work so he can get his agriculture back. Sí. ¿Cómo fue? La gente está asustada. 
<laughs> the tree climbing definitely was the silver lining of the of, of the hurricane, the situation. There was no job, no income for more than two months. But those chopping woods, those working with the chainsaw was giving us some knowledge that we didn't you know, realize until this opportunity comes to be tree climbers. It's really cool to all of a sudden be working with the guys you usually climb with on the weekends. Now you're climbing with every day. I gotta get free. I gotta get free. I gotta get free. I gotta get free. There's this place down in the south, Juanadias, that was discovered by guys from Juanadias eight years ago. They had only like nine roots. We've been bolting for the last year, and I think there are about 30 something roots now, and potential for maybe hundreds more. After Maria, we went to finally get some climbing. We had a huge tree in the middle of the whole hallway, which is, was like, okay, you know, we need to work a little here. Then we went out to search how everything was, and we got to what we call the second floor, and we discovered that the huge chunk that was totally covered by vines had peeled off. There's a big, brand new chunk of amazing limestone for us to bolt. So, thank you, Maria. <laughs> Maria made us realize the duality of things. Even when you think it's the worst case scenario, there's always something positive out of it. It's, I guess, perspective and the way you look at things that changes. You definitely need a strong mind for these days. That's one of the main factors for, for good climbing, you know, if you want to push your limits, you need to know how to shut your doubt out, how to calm your fear, your Elvis leg. <laughs> this is our crooks right now, you know, you either face it and you breathe through it, or you fall and cry and shout and... Uh, I gotta get free.